I can just feel it in the air that summer is finally here. It's a book card. And honestly, it's making me kind of want to read. I don't know. Oh, she's such a good author. It's so beautiful out here. Alrighty, y'all. Welcome back to another exciting video. I'm so excited for today because... Oh my god! Ooh, this thing's actually pretty heavy. I just got a very exciting package in the mail and you know what it is? It's a book card! I'm so excited. So in this video, we are going to attempt to set that up. Hopefully I can do it by myself. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to go through and organize all of my books because my books are kind of a mess. I've got a few books stacked up there, which I think that's where my book card's gonna go because that's just a disaster. And as you can see up here, um, my books are everywhere. <laughs> all right, let's open this. This little box cutter seriously works so good. Could not recommend more. Ah! There she is in all her glory. Now the fun part is, how do I build it? Alrighty y'all, it's been a little bit later. I was making it so much more confusing than it needed to be, but look, we've got the first little bit. I'm so proud of myself. I don't typically build or use fancy Allen wrenches or anything, so I think I know what I'm doing now, and I think the rest of this process should be fairly simple, so let's hope so. Because realistically, this should go on like so, and like so. Come on, please. Oh, ooh, that does not look centered. Oh, this is going to be harder than the last one. Ah, why does this, hold on. Why does this not? As I finish putting together this book cart, I think I'm going to go ahead and watch a little bit of YouTube. So hopefully it'll go by a little smoother. Alrighty y'all, that was, um, <laughs> a bit of a struggle. But the book cart is finally done and I'm pretty happy with it. I have two little complaints. One, each of the baskets kept getting smaller, but these wanted to stay straight up. So doing like trying to get these to bend were very difficult. And the other thing is I ordered white and it kind of looks white on camera, but it's more like a cream color than a pure white. So it's not the end of the world and it's cute and I love it. So I'm glad I finally have a book cart. So I think the next step is to go through all of my books and just start organizing and figuring out which books I have that I have not yet read. I'll probably put them on here. And like I said, I wanna organize this little area. So yeah, cause I think this is gonna go and replace that. As you can see, this bookshelf has grown um, quite a bit with books. <laughs> I could put books up here, but honestly, I really like the way that that is. So I think I'm going to take all the books that are on my physical TBR and then put them on the book cart. And then I'll go through all of them and organize them and figure out what I want to do. Because I'm not quite sure yet. Definitely going to need to do some reorganizing here. Oh my god, there's so many books. Maybe I'll just leave this for now and do my book cart first because I, again, I don't know what I want to do. I'll come back to that in a second. All right, I have all of my physical TBR behind me and before I put on the book cart, I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a haul of all the books I have yet to read. <laughs> These first three books I actually picked up yesterday. Target was having a little bit of a buy two, get one free deal. So we had to take advantage of it. Recently, I actually read The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Wather and honestly, I really loved it. It was just super fast paced and a cute little summary read. So I got both of her other books to just, you know, complete the collection. I just, I love the covers and I'm hoping they're as good as the first one that I read. So this one is Maybe Meant to Be and What Happens After Midnight. Can we just take a moment and appreciate these covers? Like, they're so, so cute. And then I also got Stinger by Mia Sheridan. Now, Mia Sheridan, oh, she's such a good author. She is the one who wrote Archer's Voice and let's just say I have a bit of an obsession over that book. It's seriously so good. And now this may not be on my TBR and I think I'll display it up there, but I actually got the special edition annotated version of Archer's Voice with the sprayed edges and oh my god. I'm so obsessed with this book. It's ridiculous. So like I said, I think I'm going to put it up on my shelf to display because it's just too beautiful not to, but I have to include it because it's Mia Sheridan and Archer's voice and I love Archer. Long story short, I figured I'd try another one of her books. Next up, I have the first three books in the Off Campus series by Al Kennedy. The first one is The Deal. And then I believe that it goes The Mistake and then The Score. I 
ink, I'm pretty sure. Wait, maybe let's look. Yes, the mistake and then the score. So next up is Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I've only read one of their books and it was a Christmas book, so I wanna read another one of them. Next up, I have two books by Colleen Hoover and I know that a lot of people don't enjoy her writing or don't think that she is a good author, but I have two books of hers that I have not yet read. So I have Verity and Regretting You. I have the first book in the Shatter Me series, which is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. And oh my gosh, I wanna start it, but I need to get more of the books in the series first before I start it. And then I have a Divergent by Veronica Roth, which it is quite a hefty book. So I don't know when I'm getting to this, but eventually. <laughs> Next up is Things I Wanted to Say But Never Did by Monica Murphy. This is the first book in the Lancaster Prep series, I believe is what this is called. When You're Mine by Rebecca Searle. Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. I'm so excited for this book. I think I'm gonna read this as soon as like the super warm weather comes and it's sunny out. It was sunny this morning, but now it's actually kind of cloudy. So that's a little disappointing, but look at this cover. Like I just, I absolutely love purple if you can't already tell. And oh my God, I'm so excited. Another one I'm really excited for. This is The Red String Theory by Lauren Kung Jensen. Again, cover is stunning. I'm so excited to read it. And then my last two right now that are on my physical TBR are by Rupi Power, I believe. I need to learn how to pronounce her name, but I have The Sun and Her Flowers and Milk and Honey. I think I might try and organize by genre, series, color. I don't know. Yeah, I apologize in advance for the lighting. The sun is sort of peeking through, which is making the lighting a little bit funky. But currently I have this as my bedside table, which is actually a piece of lawn furniture. And I've been meaning to get it out of my room. I just wanted something to replace it before I got rid of it. And now I have the book cart, so I'm really excited. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything off of this, put it on the first shelf of that, and then put my books on it. I do actually have three more books on the table right now, all of which I have semi-started. So I have Atomic Habits by James Clear. I've kind of just been reading this here and there. Funny You Should Ask by Elisa Suzman, I believe. And then the book that I think I'm going to start today is The Lake by Natasha Preston. I'm actually really looking forward to this one. I think it will be just a nice little thriller. It's super floppy, which is super nice. I love the cover. So maybe I'll have to start this today later on in this video. All right, now that I've made a complete mess of my room, I think it's time to organize this, which I don't really think I took into account that this is where I keep my garbage can. Oh, it kind of, okay. Maybe that could, oh, okay. I don't think you could see that, but that worked out really nicely. All right, oh my gosh, I have the hiccups. This is the third time I have the hiccups in this video. All righty. Okay guys, I actually lied. I'm gonna take care of all of these books up here because it's kind of driving me nuts. And then I will show you the final result of my book cart because it looks so good, it's so good. So, I'm debating because I have it kind of as a series from here on over. But then I also have Icebreaker and Wildfire, which are part of the Maple Hill series, but they kind of fit kind of nicely there. So I think I might leave them. Then I also have like these two quick like, Christmassy books. So I'm debating if I don't just put those in the back of the book cart so nobody sees them or if I just put them here because I've read them. Okay, that's pretty organized and look, I have room. I have space and there's nothing on top. Oh, I kind of like it. I probably will organize this about 82 more times in the next week. So this is probably not how it's going to stay. But for now, I kind of have it as series and then little romances, a little thriller here and there. And then it's like tallest book, which does not match with anything. And then my kind of shorter books as it goes down. So I am pretty happy with that. I love it. All right, it's now a little bit later and unfortunately I have this giant window behind me. So the lighting is super, super weird. So sorry, you'll have to deal with this angle. But now that my bookshelf is all organized and my book card is all organized, it is time for the final reveal. Are you ready for it? Ta-da! It's so cute. It's so cute. Like, I love it. Same thing goes for this as my bookshelf. I'll probably change it 92 times in the next week, but for now, this is what it's looking like on the bottom. I have my garbage can, which may or may not stay there. It might be a little bit of an inconvenience since there's not much room there, but 
for now. And then I think I'm going to store a few like little electronics in the bag. I've got my little polar bear here. His name's Icy. And then we've got three books on the bottom because these didn't fit on the top and they were just kind of different sizes and genres. So I put them down there. And then majority of these up here are romances. And just look at the colors of this. It has like a blue, pink, and purple sort of gradient going through the whole thing. And I am absolutely obsessed with it. Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy and so excited because obviously I love purple, pink, blue. Can, can you tell a common theme here? And just to have it on the book cart is just so cute. And then up here on my top shelf, I do have my two hardbacks. Like I said, I do want to display Archer's voice, but I feel like maybe for now it's better here until I have more books to put here and up on my shelf. And then my current reads, just some little knickknacks, my remotes for my LED lights, TV, clean Xbox, of course, because we're always sick, my glasses, my lip mask. It just, it all fits so cute. There's a good chance that all of this will be reorganized, but I just love the way that the book cart looks. It's just so cute and I feel like it's so much better than that little piece of lawn furniture that I had in my room for so long and honestly it's making me kind of want to read so I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this video by reading The Lake. I know it's a thriller that takes place at a summer camp but otherwise I don't really know too much about it but I'm really excited so let's go outside and start on this book. Alrighty y'all, it is now a little bit later. I'm currently on chapter four, which is page 27 of this book. So far, it's pretty good. I'm not, oh gosh, that was a B. Good, I'm not, oh gosh. The wasps are out. Like I can just feel it in the air that summer is finally here and I'm so excited. I just, I love summer. I live for summer. But like I said, I'm not too far into it, so I can't really judge it yet, but it's pretty good. It's kind of, it's kind of cute which is weird because it's a thriller. Basically, these two girls have been best friends forever and they come back to the lake, which is a summer camp uh, called Camp Pine Lake. And they keep referencing this thing that happened all these years ago when they were like eight years old and they wanna make sure that nobody's ever gonna find out about it, but now they're back as camp counselors. So yeah, we'll see. All the kids have just arrived in the book and so far, like I said, it's kind of cute. So. so I will keep you guys posted and probably let you know my thoughts in a future reading wrap-up video so stay tuned for that. I'll probably make one on March and April books that I read but the weather outside is so nice. It's so beautiful out here. I love it. The sun is shining and it's beautiful but I think I'm going to continue reading my book and I'll probably end off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a bit chaotic but I just love doing all these sort of bookish things and thought it'd be fun to do a little video on it so if you guys enjoyed please let me know down in the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Every time I film, I get the hiccups. Why? Why do I always get the hiccups? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna film through the hiccups. But, Jesus. Oh my god. I'm done. I quit. <laughs> Clarksdale MS. MS. Mississippi? I think. Do I remember my states right? I don't know. In a future reading wrap-up video, I'll probably make one of all the books I made 